So hi, my name is Dr. Kristen Quinn. I'm co-founder and CEO of Heartbeat Technologies, and we are improving CPR care. As a physician, I feel like I have a tremendous opportunity to see all kinds of unmet clinical needs that a lot of times industry and the lay uh, public don't get exposure to or may not be aware of. And so in my role as a resident surgeon at Medical University of South Carolina, I saw an opportunity to improve cardiac arrest outcomes. So currently 500,000 Americans a year experience a cardiac arrest event and 90% of those patients don't survive. Even those that do survive are also, all, often impacted, excuse me, by uh, neurologic disability or other impairments um, that don't let them function at the, at the highest level pre-cardiac arrest. So what's so exciting about the Saver is it would be the first product to this market. So currently standard of care for cardiac arrest is chest compressions. This is a uh, adjunct that works in combination with chest compressions. It goes over the legs and it shunts the blood up to the trunk where it's most needed during these events. It is non-invasive, uh, it's external to the, to the body, can be put over clothes and be used in these emergency situations rapidly to help temporize a patient until help that they need gets there and then also support them in the ambulance and when they get to the hospital. So we're a young business. We've only been around for about 14 months um, and you had asked about milestones previously. We've accomplished a lot in that time and I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. So we became a South Carolina LLC. We filed a non-provisional patent that has since converted, uh, initially a provisional, excuse me, and now converted to a non-provisional patent in that time. We've done a large mammal trial. Tomorrow actually we're starting our clinical trial in healthy uh, volunteers, uh, IRB approved research at MUSC. We have um, traveled and per, uh, performed in pitch competitions. We've been part of two accelerators, um, Accelerate Health and VentureWell accelerators that have helped us with funding, resources, and mentorship to kind of accelerate our business. So we're growing and we are really excited to be looking for more people to add to our team, especially those that have business modeling, financial projections, um, experience and um, network experience in the South Carolina uh, area. We are really strong on our research and development side as a researcher myself and a lot of our team has, has experience in that method, but we'd like to grow our team and uh, are looking to find new talent. I would say innovative drive. Um, you have to know where you want to go and sometimes you may not know in three steps where you want to go, but just getting that next step and powering through and thinking of creative ways to get there because there's no roadmap. Um, it's very different than my medical training when I knew, okay, this is the score I have to get, this is the next step, and then I have to apply here and then you know, move to this city and train with this person. Um, entrepreneurship, there's not one roadmap and there's not one right way, which is what's exciting but also challenging about it. Um, and it's been a, a great experience for us.